Thousands of Turkish police are stationed in central Istanbul at this moment. And they're bracing for possible demonstrations marking the one-year anniversary of Istanbul's Taksim Square protests. Our senior international correspondent Ivan Watson has been spending the day there. He joins us now live. Ivan, it was quiet when I spoke to you a few hours ago. Uh, what are you seeing now? Well, right now there's been a huge uh, Turkish police deployment in central Istanbul. You see riot police almost outnumbering the, the foreign tourists that usually swirl around this area. And all of this is to prevent any possible demonstration on the anniversary of the Gezi Park protests. One of the main protest groups, the Taksim Solidarity Platform, has called for people to bring flowers in honor of at least 11 people killed since the protests began a year ago, a year ago, basically, in this very place. And as you can see, these are some of the measures that the Turkish government is deploying to prevent that from being able to happen. The Turkish prime minister says that the demonstrators, Errol, uh, are uh, conspiring against Turkey, trying to destroy the economy here. Demonstrators are arguing they're trying to uh, express uh, their freedoms under the constitution to gather and, and show political expression. It has been the most turbulent year in a decade of Turkey's political history. Clashes week after week, month after month in Istanbul and in other cities that resulted in the deaths of two more people just last week here in Istanbul. The country more polarized perhaps than I've ever seen it the government has succeeded in winning election an election last March uh, decisively, but there's clearly a significant portion of the Turkish population that's not happy with the policies of the democratically elected government. And if you ever needed proof, just look at the police presence in central Istanbul in the commercial capital. This is all to prevent people from being able to lay flowers in a park where the protest movement first erupted a year ago, Errol. And Ivan, as you're speaking to us, we're going between uh, what you're showing us and other live pictures uh, of, of the area at the moment. Where does this go from here? Because what essentially we're seeing is that the police are out in such force, people can't respectfully and calmly and peacefully voice their opinions in Istanbul. Well, the cycle that we've seen over and over again is that people will try to come out, chant, wave some flags, and very quickly the police crack down and, and use force. And then often you get uh, clashes erupting, demonstrators throwing rocks, uh, bottles, and police cracking down with uh, their use of force as well. So, uh, excuse me. We're, uh, I think I'm getting, uh, I think we're, uh, I'm being, uh, just a minute, may I see your passport please? Which canal? Which canal? Which canal? Can I see your passport? Okay. Okay. Can I see your passport? Yeah. So, Errol, we're we're now being checked. Okay. Can I see your passport? Journalist card right here. Anyway, this is my press card. It allows me to. Where is your passport? It allows me to work in Turkey. Where is your passport? Where is your passport? Go with me. Where is your passport? Okay. Come with us. Yes, Errol. We're being detained right now. So, uh, this is uh. This is. I, I'm being kicked. I'm being kicked. Hey. I'm being kicked. All right, Ivan, we'll let you go for the moment, but you will just watch right there on our air as Ivan Watson apparently being detained uh, by plain clothed police officers, which he showed us earlier about three hours ago. Um, they are out in force in Turkey right now in Istanbul. Thousands of riot police officers preparing uh, for what is already a very tense day, the one year anniversary of the uh, protests there in Taksim Square. Ivan Watson doing his best to tell the officials he's accredited. He's just reporting on what's happening. But as you see there, they uh, did not accept what he was saying at the moment and um, have taken him off our air. We will, of course, update you on where Ivan is. Uh, we hope he and the team are safe. But of course, uh, we just want to bring you details on what's taking place there in Istanbul today. So look, uh, stay tuned to CNN for updates on this story today. For the moment, though, we move on to other stories we're following for you. China